Hello, welcome to class. Uh, today is our sixth lesson, and our next topic is hotel. Well, probably this is the place where you're most unlikely to need Russian skills because um, hotel staff are usually trained to speak sufficient English. But still, uh, taking the advantage of the topic, we're going to cover a few useful uh, words and expressions in Russian. Well, first of all, let's have a look at uh, what words we have to, for places to stay. Uh, there are two words: гостиница, гостиница, and Atel, atel, both designate a hotel, and the second one looks pretty, uh, pretty much the same as in, in the English word. And the, the next word is a word to two uh, great hotels, звезда, звезда, a star. So a five-star hotel would be either пятизвездочный отель, пятизвездочный отель, or пятизвездочная гостиница. Пятизвездочная гостиница. Um, well, probably you will never have to pronounce this word. It's too long. And it consists of two stems. Пять, meaning, meaning five, and звезда, a star. So, uh, if you're not a fan of traveling in style, uh, you would probably be looking for places like hostel, hostel, or mini hotel. Mini hotel. Okay. So uh, before, if you if you are traveling in high season, in high touristic season, so uh, it's a good idea to book in advance. And a phrase that you would need to make a reservation over the phone would be, "Я хочу забронировать номер." "Я хочу забронировать номер." "Я хочу." I want забронировать to book or to reserve номер hotel number, hotel room. Okay. So, uh, the receptionist will probably ask you uh, about the dates. На какое число? На какое число? Число meaning date. So, uh, here we need to know Russian ordinal numbers. You're already familiar with Russian numbers and know how to count money in Russian. And now let's have a look at ordinal numbers. Well, so while in English you simply add th to uh, to the numbers to get an ordinal number, in Russian most of the time, except except one, two, and three, you add an adjective ending to a stem of a number, and this uh, so it, uh, formally it's an adjective which co which concords in form with uh, the following uh, with the following num noun. So I'll be reading them one by one. Uh, slowly and you repeat after me. Первый. Первый. Второй. Второй. Третий. Третий. Четвертый. Четвертый. Пятый. Пятый. Шестой, шестой, седьмой, седьмой, восьмой, восьмой, девятый, девятый, десятый, десятый. So, uh, well, I said that the exceptions are one, two, and three. Actually, it's just one and two. The same is in English. First and second, you can use первый, второй. All the rest start with the same stem as the, uh, the original number. So, now let's have a look at numbers from 11 till 19. These are long words. Одиннадцатый, одиннадцатый, двенадцатый. Двенадцатый, тринадцатый, тринадцатый, четырнадцатый, четырнадцатый, пятнадцатый, пятнадцатый, шестнадцатый, шестнадцатый, семнадцатый, семнадцатый, восемнадцатый. Восемнадцатый, девятнадцатый, девятнадцатый. 
So, uh, see, I separated off the ending, the adjective ending, to show that this is the part that changes according to the, fo to the form of the following noun. Now, numbers from 20 to 31. Uh, the word for 20th would be dvatsati, dvatsati. Okay? And to uh, form numbers from 21 till 29, you just add the uh, one of the words from the first group we have just read to the num to the number from one from 20 to or 20 or 30 if it's and so on. So 20, 21st would be. 21. So 2020 does not change its, its form. And here is first, первый. 22. 22. 22nd. 22. And 23rd would be 23. 23. So you simply add, two word, uh, add the word 30 to 20. 23rd, 23 And finally, 30. 30. So there are 30 or 31 days in a month. So, 20, oh, excuse me, 31st would be 31. Okay, now let's get back to the phrases we left behind. На какое число вы хотите забронировать номер? That is the question that receptionists would probably ask. На какое число вы хотите забронировать номер? На какое число, for which date, вы хотите забронировать номер? Do you want to reserve a, num a room now, a hotel number? Okay. And here are variants of answer. С 5 по 10 апреля. From, from the 5th to the 10th of April. С 5 по 10 апреля. Or if you, want, if you want to say the whole phrase, я хочу забронировать номер на 5 апреля. Я хочу, I want, забронировать, to reserve номер, hotel room, на 5 апреля. Okay? For, for the 5th of April. So you probably noticed that uh, you still lack some information. I haven't told you yet about the names of uh, the 12 months. Okay. Uh, the names of the months in Russian sound very similar to the way they sound in English, so that it will be very easy for you to, rem to memorize them. Yanvar, Yanvar for January, Yanvar. February would be Fevral, Fevral. Mart, Mart for March. April would be April, April. May, May for May. June, June for June. July would be Iul, Iul. August is August, August. Sintyabr, Sintyabr, Aktyabr, Aktyabr, Nayabr, Nayabr, and finally, Dekabr, Dekabr. Okay, now let's have a look at a, at a short dialogue. Добрый день, добрый день. You don't need the translation, do you? Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Чем могу вам помочь? Чем могу вам помочь? How can I help you? Помочь meaning help. Я забронировал номер в вашей гостинице неделю назад. Я забронировал номер в вашей гостинице неделю назад. Я забронировал, I booked номер, a room, в вашей гостинице, at your hotel, неделю назад, неделю, a week назад, ago. Я забронировал номер в вашей гостинице неделю назад. 
I booked a, a, I booked a room in your hotel a week ago. Как ваше имя? Как ваше имя? You're already familiar with this, with this phrase. Uh, we came across it in one of the previous lessons. Как ваше имя? Джонсон. Одну минуту. Just a minute. One minute, please. Одну минуту. Да, для вас есть номер на двоих, на трое суток. Yes, для вас, for you, есть, there is, номер, a room, на двоих, a, a double room, or a twin room, um, на, на двоих, for two persons, for three days, на трое суток, for three days. Да, для вас есть номер на двоих, на трое суток. Мы бы хотели остаться на день под, подольше, до 10 марта. Мы бы хотели, we would like, остаться, to stay, на день подольше. For one more day, one day longer. На день, for one day, подольше, longer. До 10 марта, до, till, the 10th of March. Мы бы хотели остаться на день подольше, до 10 марта. Да, конечно. Yes, of course. Заполните, пожалуйста, бланк. Заполните. Fill in, please. A form. Fill in this form, please. Заполните, пожалуйста, бланк. Ваш номер на третьем этаже. Ваш номер, your room, is на третьем этаже. On the third floor. Ваш номер на третьем этаже. Вот ваш ключ. Ключ meaning key. Вот ваш ключ. Here is your key. Спасибо. Скажите, пожалуйста, во сколько подается завтрак? Скажите, пожалуйста. You already know this, this short phrase. Скажите, пожалуйста. Tell me, please. Во сколько подается завтрак? At what time do they serve breakfast? At what time is breakfast served? Скажите, пожалуйста, во сколько подается завтрак? Завтрак с 7 до 10 часов. Завтрак, breakfast, is с 7 до 10 часов. From 7 till 10 o'clock. Завтрак с 7 до 10 часов. Ресторан, restaurant, на пятом, on the fifth floor, этаже. Ресторан на пятом этаже. The restaurant is on the fifth floor. Также вы можете заказать завтрак в номер. Также, also, you can, вы можете заказать order, завтрак, breakfast, to your room. Также вы можете заказать завтрак в номер. Спасибо. Приятного отдыха. Приятного отдыха. Have a nice day. Okay, so, this is it for today. And see you at the next class.